If the gazillion movies, songs, novels have taught us anything about road trips, it's that there is something so alluring about open roads. The wind in your hair, buzz of the radio in your ears. Isn't it cliche for a reason? We spotted an en route and we decided to stop by for some quick breakfast. We did have some decent options to choose from Tim Hortons, Starbucks and Burger King. We enjoyed our breakfast with some burgers and coffee and continued with our journey. Road trips are truly a great way to see the world with passing clouds, fresh air and most importantly a much needed break from your normal routine. After traveling for approximately 2 hours, we reached our destination. We had pre-booked a cozy little cottage in Airbnb. Come on in guys, let me take you for a house tour. As soon as you enter the bungalow, you have an attractive living room with dining on to your right hand side and a comfortable couch on your left hand side. As you walk through, you spot two bedrooms. The door outside the kitchen leads to an oversized backyard with a beautiful tree house. We freshened up a bit and started with our journey to witness our very own Kingston. It is also called the limestone city because of many heritage buildings constructed using local limestone. Kingston is roughly about 250 kilometers from Toronto. Approximate travel time in a car will be about two and a half hours. The first place we decided to visit was Fort Henry. This place literally felt like past coming to life. Fort Henry is a national historic site of Canada and is a significant tourist attraction. It was built from 1832 to 1837 to protect the naval dockyard from a possible American attack and to protect the southern entrance to the Rideau Canal and also to monitor maritime traffic on the St. Lawrence River and Lake Ontario. We were handed over with a map of Fort Henry for our convenience. As you enter the fort, this roughly rectangular space was where the upward firing mortars were located, infantry soldiers drilled and special event took place back then. As we moved further, precautions were in place so we had to sanitize our hands before entering the officers quarters. Accommodations back then was on the basis of ranks because 
19th century reflected British social system. The commission officers were accommodated in private rooms along with officers' mess. There were married quarters as well where regiments allowed a certain number of soldiers to marry. Fort Henry was also used as an internment camp facility during the 1838 rebellions and the First and Second World War. Artifacts and narratives were featured here. This gentleman here was explaining about how to load these rifles. Go off while you're loading. And so you know, usually you'd be able to let go, but you know if the bullet went past your fingers, you would only lose two fingers instead of your whole hand. Okay. Yeah. So you withdraw the ramrod, take it back in the rifle, lift it, and when you're ready to fire, pull the hammer all the way back, pull the trigger like that. Create sparks, ignite the powder, must blow the fly. The issue, of course, because you load from the front, there must blow. It was so sunny and we were all drained out so we had our late lunch and visited a park nearby. We relaxed a bit here. As it got darker, we took a walk across the streets of Kingston and ended our day one. Welcome to day two guys. We started a bit early since we were all interested in kayaking. We reached this place called Ehoi Rentals. This place provides rentals for canoeing, kayaking and also stand-up paddle boarding. As you can see here, there is a staff training us briefly. It was time for our brunch. It was a beautiful local patio. We spent some time there and the food was delicious. After our heavy brunch, we started our journey towards the north of Kingston. We wanted some backcountry site and Frontenac Provincial Park was a perfect place. 
Frontenac Park is an outstanding scenic beauty in itself, offering lots of bridges, tricky paths, changing scenery, and a rich history of landscape. We stopped at the park office to check the activities offered here. There are almost 17 trails in this park, ranging from 3.5 to 22 kilometers. Since we all were a bunch of beginners, we took the Doe Lake Trials, which was about 3.5 kilometers. We were provided with the hand curated trail maps, which clearly had the instructions and directions in it. Hiking was a great experience guys. I highly recommend this place if you are planning for a short weekend trips. Thanks for watching guys, like, share and subscribe to my channel Canada Stories. Until next video, love you guys, bye bye.